So today in this video, um, I wanted to do a what's in my purse bag. <laughs> say hi everybody. Hi. Hi everybody. So you say hi everybody. Hi. <laughs> uh, hi everybody. So today in this video, I wanted to do and I, I kind of never really understood this, but I'll do it anyway. I'll you know I'm always open to trying new things. Um, but I wanted to do a what's in my purse video and. Um, but with a little bit of a twist and the twist is what's in my purse after our road trip because I think when you're on when you're traveling you accumulate a lot of things even more things than usual um, in your purse than you know normal I think on a normal basis you try to kind of maintain it well at least some people do I don't know um, but I on a short trip um, I definitely accumulated a lot of things and I thought it'd be fun to share what is actually in my purse and it was heavy and I carried this the around the entire time that I was there. Hi. So this is what my purse looks like. Um, I got this from JC Penny and I got it for about ten dollars. And it is uh, a cosmopolitan bag. I think I didn't even know that they made bags like cosmopolitan, like the uh, the the actual magazine. And it's a nice bag because it it kind of like folds down this way. Um, well, if it didn't have that much stuff in it, it would fold down like this way. So it. So it looks like this and has like a little tassel, um, but it's flexible in that it doesn't exactly have to fold and it can actually be this big. And then this is where the handles are. And I think this is this style is kind of like really popular right now. The only thing I don't particularly like about it, I like it because it's like soft leather, but what I don't particularly like about it is that this strap is kind of thin. And if it's heavy, then it kind of just like, kind of like eats into your shoulder or whatever. But anyway, let's get into the what's in my purse. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna take things out random. So the first thing I have is my wallet, and I got this from Target uh, for like just like three dollars, less than three dollars. And I also have this camera case, which I got um, recently for just like about five dollars, Case Logic, for the camera that I'm filming on right now. Do you want to hold the camera case? Yeah. Okay. And let's see. Um, I have a Target or a Starbucks gift card for twenty-five dollars, and I got this kind of from my boss for doing a decent job, I guess. Um, and then I have, from a long time ago, I have a Toys R Us receipt. Or I guess these are like coupons. You know, like when you buy things, um, they they. I have like a whole bunch of, yeah, yeah, yeah. they print out a whole bunch of coupons with the receipt and I don't remember what exactly I bought. My oh, here. I bought my my something for $8.99. Oh, I got our pair of shoes. And then over here I have a Trader Joe's receipt, blueberry muffins, because I love to eat those for breakfast. And then over here I have a $10 gift certificate for DSW, which I think I probably already used. And yeah, so I have a lot of things even before the trip that I accumulated. I have, oh, I have Target coupon. So I'm obviously trying to save, but I obviously don't use it. No, but I did get this, this L'Oreal Paris Sublime Sunscreen Oil Spray. And they didn't have, they ran out of Target, it's $2 off, but they ran, out of, they ran out of it at Target. So I eventually got it at Ulta. And I think I'll do a review on that. And then I have Cheesecake Factory receipts. So this is kind of a good video to do just because it's like cleaning out my um, cleaning out my purse. This is the Ultra receipt where I got the Sublime, the L'Oreal Sublime suntan uh, oil, suntan lotion oil. Oh, and as you saw that she just pulled out, I have a whole bunch of Starbucks napkins. I have a Mega Millions lottery ticket, which I probably didn't win, but I have to check. It was for Friday. Uh, we were at a gas station on our road trip and I, was, and I saw Mega Mil Millions and I don't normally see Mega Millions anymore. I used to live in New York and I would see Mega Millions all the time and I would, you know, get it slightly more often but I don't see it anymore. And I decided to get it. I was like, okay, on this trip I might be lucky. Let's see. And then over here I got a... I have a, a uh, receipt from Marshalls which I, for a pair of shoes that I returned. And then, dude, what else did you pull out? You have to show everything. And then I have a napkin, throw that out, kind of gross. And then over here I have, again, more Target coupons, which have expired, so I have to throw that out. 
I have a True Food receipt. True Food was really good. It's, I think there's like a few of them in the LA area. Can you hold this one? You wanna show this one? And it was really good. It's like a kind of like local organic, um, but it was really good, really fresh. Uh, Starbucks reload, reload uh, receipt, reloaded my card, $20. And this one is a Southern Railroad. So this was from the trip. We took her to Griffith Park and we rode the we rode the railroad. What else do we have here? We have two thought pads from the Hampton Inn. And I got these because I thought it would be good to throw in my purse if she wants to write something. And I also stole their pen. So this is just to, for her amusement. And let's see. Oh, here's the tag, Cosmopolitan. I always like save the tags when I buy things. So this was the tag that I, uh, of the bag that I bought. The Ramada Inn, and I stayed at the Ramada Inn in Burbank in, Cal in um, Los Angeles area, and it is the pits. It's the worst. Um, I do not recommend it. And here's my phone with my new case from iFrogs. Well, I actually got it from Marshalls. It was like $8. Um, and then I have two stickers here from Trader Joe's. And let's see, going through all these receipts. And I have a receipt from Forever 21 because I got two rings when I was down there. What else, you, what else did you find? What else did you find? And then I have Noah's, a Noah's bagel. I got a bagel right before we left. So actually, I guess a lot of the stuff is like accumulated on the trip. So it's kind of, kind of a good memory of like where we went and what we did. Excuse me. And then here is Marshall's. Oh, here's the return thing. Remember, I said I had a receipt for a pair of shoes at Marshall's, and I returned it. Here's another pen from this is the Hampton Inn. Here I have a protein bar, and remember, I didn't eat this, but I got this for free somewhere, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat this pair of socks because you should, every mom should have a pair of socks for their kid in their purse. Um, she like, it's pretty insistent on that. Okay, um, a camera charger, camera battery charger. And then I have, I'm like, okay, every mom should have a pair of socks. Every mom should have two pairs of socks. <laughs> because this is a pair of socks extra case, um, an extra pair of socks in case they need it. And this is the mom who has a really terrible memory and didn't forgot that there was this pair of socks and added another pair of socks. This is why we lose her socks because it goes in my purse and I forget about it. Here is a ring that I got from Forever 21. Here is one dollar. Don't put that in your mouth, please. A dollar. Um, cause I thought it was just good to have a uh, change and I guess I was too lazy to put it in my purse or my wallet. Here is a bracelet cause I did carry, um, jewelry around. Um, here is a red pen, which is a pen I always carry around. I should always have a pen. Here is a necklace. I kind of used my purse as a jewelry case, a jewelry case when I, um, left. Here is a hair clip. It's like my number one hair clip that I use. And anything else? Is that it? Oh, here is the other ring that I got from Forever 21. And I think I had a couple other rings. Did you drop it, babe? Oh, here we go, Forever 21. So I got, so those two rings that I just showed you, I got that a little while ago and it's been sitting in my purse. Here is another set of rings. And I'm not sure if you can see this, but it is a, question mark and an ex and oh here question mark and an explanation point which I thought was really cute and eh, let me see and oh this is uh kind of like just like a band of hearts and I use this for my thumb and I think that's it oh nope that's not it um I have a best western because we stayed at the best western Norwalk which was eh decent but it's better than the Ramada but still not that great and then we stayed at the Hampton Inn which is um, this and that was luxury compared to the Ramada and um, and the Best Western and then I have eye drops and that is everything in my purse all of that junk fit in this purse and it made it really heavy and 
yeah, I hope that was interesting. Uh, I'm definitely going to clean my bag out. And let me see. Let me show you. Those are all the receipts. And then that's all the junk that was in my purse. And those are a whole bunch of cars and keys. And she has my... What do you have? What's that? Bubble bag. Yeah, that's Mama's necklace. Those are the pads. And that is it. Do you want to say bye? Bye. Oh, no. Do you want to say bye? Bye. Um, say see, see, you late, see you later. Bye. Say see you next time. Thanks bye. for watching. Say thanks for watching. Thank you. Thanks for watching. We hope that you're having a great day. If you want to share what's in your purse, please Instagram me or tweet me something interesting that you found in your purse recently. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Do you want to say bye? Give a kiss. Oh, good job. Do you want to turn it off?